welcome back everybody to another video before we start make sure you go down there hit that red subscribe button and also turn on the notification bells so you're always updated when i make a new video anyway let's get that out of the way today we're going to be making a kill death screen so when you get killed by the monster a screen will appear saying you died and then after a few seconds you should respawn back in the game so guys without further ado let's get into this tutorial Alright, so we're in our map, as I showed you before, and we want to make that death screen. So this is going to be quite simple, just go to your starter GUI in the top right corner, click plus, so screen GUI, and in the screen GUI we want to insert a text label, just like that. Alright, so now once you have this text label in, what we want to do, we want to double click on the text, oh, so get the text label, double click on it, and we want to say, Died. What we're now going to do is we're going to take the D, um, handles by the edge of it and now we're now going to stretch it out just like that. Something which you think is reasonable. For me, I like that. And now we can customize it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the background transparency so by one, make the background color black. No, sorry. Yeah, black. And then I can scroll down to the text, make sure text scaled is on. Make sure text color is set to red or whatever or white. You, I don't mind. And I'm gonna change my font. I'm gonna change it to um, something that describes well. So I'm gonna say no. Just for example's sake, I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, this one. Cool. So once we have that, we can now go ahead and insert a script into it. So just go, sorry, a local script. So go to the text label, press the plus button. So a local script, just like that. And now in this local script, we can write the following. We can write local player is equal to script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent. So what, we're just trying to get the um. So saying parent multiple times takes you out and out and out of that place. So saying script dot parent will take me to the text label and then text label dot parent will take me to start to choose, will take me to the screen GUI and parent from the screen GUI will take me to start to GUI and then on and on and on and on. So for the next line I'm gonna write game but lighting dot blur dot enabled is equal to false and you see what I mean in a second. Local player underscore character is equal to player dot character. Alright, so before we go and continue any further, what we want to do now is we want to add the blur. So go to your horror map and what we can do is we can just oh and make sure you make sure this screen you are no make sure this screen you are yes this screen you are is invisible so make sure to untick enabled and then we can go to lighting press plus it's a blur effect just like that and you can choose a blur effect to as much as you want i'm gonna have mine at 12 you can have it wherever you want and then when we can go back go back to the script we can carry on writing so local hum player underscore character Hold on wait for child and then bracket human wow and then you're gonna go down two lines through wow true do wait brackets and then what we can do is important because this is very important and then we're going to do it down we're like if hum dot health is equal is I, i'm not sure what this is good i think it's like a bigger or smaller the thing you see in math you know when they say the crocodile hands yeah that so you do that thing and then equal sign and then zero and then, then go down script dot Parent not visible is true. Game 
dot lighting dot blur dot enabled equals true and then wait bracket game dot players dot respawn time no sorry Re respawn time That. Close the bracket off just like that. And then we can go down game dot lighting. Can I spell it? I'm so silly. Game dot lighting dot blur dot enabled is equal to false. And then break. Just, just like that. And this is the script right here. That's literally it. So what we can do now is. Just make sure to check for your script, there are no mistakes. So I'm just gonna have a look for any spelling mistakes. Nope, I think I'm good. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close this off. I'm going to disable the blur temporarily, and then we're gonna press play. Let's have a look if this works. Okay, so it immediately in the game, as you can see, the dummy's chasing me around already. Go away! Go away! Right, so perfect, we're in the map right here. As you can see, the dialogue from before has arrived. So now we can test out if it's gonna work. Hello, key. Let me just grab you. Hello. So we walk up to the door, put it like this. Yep, should work. And then open this drawer, grab the key. Oh no, I see a monster. The monster cured me. Oh no. Let's die, let's die. So, okay, so I've just gone through a few stuff and I think what I've done wrong is I need to enable this. But, I, I literally have no clue. Um, I think I need to make this invisible. I don't know, it's a small difference. But, it may actually work that way. Let's have a look. Alright, so we spawn in the game, let's do the same thing again. Uh, let's grab this key. Um, let's grab, let's open this drawer. Oh, what the heck? No. Let me grab this key, let me go inside, and let's see if it works. So let's go to here, press the character. Ooh! Hey! And there we go! It's working! That small difference actually made it work. Amazing. Um, and as you can see, we respawn. So guys, if you are having that issue, make sure to do what I just did. Um, don't make the screen too invisible, make the text label invisible. 